Hi everyone, this is Preston Borns, the Cloud Integrator. Uh, today I thought I'd make a quick video uh, talking about Windows to Go. Uh, Windows to Go, in case you didn't know, is a new product by uh, Microsoft that actually comes with Windows 8 Enterprise. And basically what it allows you to do is to take your uh, Windows 8 installation and put it on a removable hard drive so that uh, you can actually take your computing environment wherever you go. So all you would have to do is create the Windows to go on a USB hard drive which takes about 45 minutes to an hour uh, and then you can take that removable hard drive, take go to any computer and boot from the USB hard drive and after a couple minutes, uh, the first time it will take a little bit longer while it recognizes the device uh, drivers and everything. Uh, but you can actually have your Windows 8 that you're used to with your applications, your data, everything's there, and uh, it's all on a nice removable hard drive. Uh, but I'll create a video later on that, but the video I wanted to create today for you was how to take your Windows 8 to go, which is I actually have on a one terabyte Toshiba external hard drive, and you will notice that uh, this is... USB 3.0. Um, Microsoft does recommend that you use USB 3.0 hard drives uh, or and thumb drives for the Windows to go. However, um, you have to be very careful on the uh, USB thumb drives that you use because they're most actually are not compatible. There's very few uh, thumb drives, USB 3.0 thumb drives that are actually compatible with Windows 8 to go and those are usually the solid state thumb drives. So they're usually the SSD thumb drives by Kingston and I think iMation has one as well. So if you look for Windows to go thumb compatible uh, thumb drives you'll only find a couple and, and they are quite expensive. So the cheaper solution is to uh, pick up an external hard drive and uh, it only has to be 32 gig in size so Anything over that's just going to be beneficial to you. So like I said, this is actually a one terabyte hard drive. Now, the video today is going to be about how to get Windows 8 to go on a Mac. So I'm going to show you. I have a MacBook here, Pro. And uh, this is not a Retina edition or anything. This is actually an older uh, 2011 uh, MacBook Pro. Um, and I'm going to shut this down, and then I'm going to show you what happens with uh, Windows 8 to go uh, on a MacBook Pro. So to boot from a USB drive on a MacBook Pro, when you're starting up, you hold down the uh, option key and press the power. And what happens is this should bring up your USB bootable drives, but I'm going to show you what happens here. Now, if you look closely at the screen, it's a little hard to see here. Um, there you go. Uh, you'll notice that while there is uh, two drives that I have to select from, you'll notice that my external hard drive is not showing up. And when you look at some of these other videos on YouTube, uh, you can see them booting from it. But I wasn't really quite sure how they were able to do that. So. I'm going to show you today how to actually get this going on a MacBook Pro and actually get it to where you can actually boot off this. So this is actually just my hard drive that's in here. I have my Macintosh hard drive and then it's actually partitioned into two partitions. One's recovery and just one's regular. Um, so to make this solution work, we're actually going to go boot into the regular hard drive. So while we're waiting for this to boot, we're just going to uh, tell you a little bit about what we're going to do. So Macs actually require a special bootable partition uh, called GPT. And when, it, when it's on this Windows to go, obviously that's formatted for Windows uh, PCs, not for Macs. So what we're going to do is we're going to install, install a special uh, software on the Mac that is going to actually allow you to uh, boot the Windows to go. And, get, and it's going to give you some different options here. And 
should be done booting up here. Okay. So I'm just going to log into my desktop here. So what we're going to want to do, let's close out of it, is we're going to want to open Safari. And you can see my external hard drive is showing up here as no name. Sorry, Macintosh hard drive too. Alright. Okay, actually it's showing up untitled. I'm sorry. Alright, so we have my USB hard drive hooked up. We're going to go into Safari. And you want to look for some software. It's called Refit. And let's see what we got here. Let's see. And you can go to SourceForge.com, and uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the demo here. But basically, all you're going to do is download it. So I already have that downloaded, so I'm actually going to open the DMG file. Okay. And then you'll notice on after you run that DMG file, you'll have a refit icon on your desktop. Now this makes it super simple. All you have to do is run the refit.mpkg, which is the installer. And this is actually going to install the software on there. And of course you're going to want to install it to your hard drive, not the external hard drive or anything like that. Okay. Install. Put in your password. Oops. It literally takes a couple seconds to go through. And once you have that done, what you're going to have to do is you're going to actually restart your Mac, and you're going to restart it twice. So we're going to reboot it, and we're going to do it twice. Okay, now that we're restarted, I'm actually going to just hit shut down. I'll shut it down. All 
Alright, and now that it's shut down, again, we're going to hold down the Option button and turn it off. And notice now we have a new icon. We have, it's called Refit. So that's what we're going to boot into. And now you'll notice we have a bunch of different icons. So we're going to actually go over to the boot windows from, and then you can see the uh, orange icon there. And you'll notice now you have a Windows symbol. And within a couple seconds, Windows to go should be booting up. So for everybody to see, you can actually see the blue light blinking on the external hard drive. And then you should see the Windows 8 logo here show up. And there you go. So that's how you actually run uh, Windows to go on uh, a MacBook Pro. Um, I'll just let this boot in so you can actually see about how long it takes, but it's really quite quick. and. Um, the experience is actually pretty good. Now, there are a couple things on the Mac that don't work. Um, I haven't tested everything yet, um, but the only major thing that I've noticed is the two-finger scroll does not work on the um, MacBook Pro, but you can still right-click and you can still use the mouse and everything, and uh, it's very responsive. Uh, now, some people say that it's, you know, on the MacBook Pro, it's you know better hardware, but I've actually tested this on quite a few systems, and it's all very comparable as to uh, what it is. But you can see here, uh, Windows 8 to go. I'll put in my PIN number. And that's just telling me my battery's low. And you can see, here I am on my desktop and I'm running Windows 8 and it's very very responsive so you can see everything's just running really quick so Windows 8 to go on a MacBook Pro for any questions or if you would like some more information visit www.thecloudintegrator.com or shoot us an email at support at the